the UFC heavyweight division title. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans and the Rampage Jackson, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well in terms of the strength of schedule I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time and of course as he makes the walk here tonight he puts that status on the line yet again. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look-see do fighter, only a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones. John. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bob UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true Grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect him to. Punches blocked. Here. Boy, time block. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. DC. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title left on. Oh, he heard a belly jab. And now he's got that high punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's having his way with him here. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, half guard now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Takedown defense holds up. And both guys really throwing with authority. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai. Beautiful takedown. Hey, he finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Johnny Bone. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't... Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attacking arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and that was...
was a violent tap there, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eagle Beam is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by tap out and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Brasna! And still the baddest man on the planet. I 